Hi everyone. My name is Kanika Kapoor and I am an identity engineer on the Azure Identity Engineering team at Microsoft. In this video, we will discuss the upcoming Azure Active Directory graph or Azure AD graph deprecation, which is due after June 30, 2023. This video will be helpful for Azure AD administrators to ensure that all applications are migrated successfully to using Microsoft Graph and ensure that there are no production dependencies on Azure AD Graph. Let's jump right in. Azure AD Graph will be deprecated on June 30, 2023, and this change was announced in advance to all Microsoft customers. Through this migration, we want to ensure all customers migrate to Microsoft Graph and discourage applications from taking production dependencies on Azure AD Graph. After June 30th, Microsoft will be making investments in new features and functionalities only in Microsoft Graph, and we will only make security-related fixes to Azure AD Graph. So if you're an admin or application developer, how can you know if your application is still using the Azure AD Graph? Let's quickly review the steps. First step is to scan the application source code. If you own an application source code, search for the URI endpoint graph.windows.net in the code. This is the Azure AD Graph endpoint and applications that call this endpoint use Azure AD Graph. Record the value of the affected application ID. In the second step, you can use this application ID to check the application's API permissions. Let us walk through these steps together in the Azure portal. Sign in to the Azure portal as a global administrator. Search for and select Azure Active Directory. Under the Manage section, select App Registration. In the App Registrations window, go to all applications click on the add filters option choose the application id field and hit apply paste the application id copied from step one this list is now narrowed down to your specific application select the app this reveals the applications menu from the left pane of the window go to api permissions this reveals configured API permissions for your application, including the Azure AD Graph permissions. Microsoft has published a few resources that you as an administrator or application developer can utilize to help with the Azure AD Graph deprecation. Some of the documents are listed here. Let us walk through each one of them quickly. You can begin with the overview page regarding the migration of Azure AD Graph to Microsoft Graph to help you better understand the Microsoft Graph. Secondly, here is the link to our Azure AD Graph application migration checklist. You can use this checklist to plan your migration from Azure AD Graph to Microsoft Graph. Additionally, we have also published an article to answer frequently asked questions about this migration. You might also be using the PowerShell commands for your scripts, and we have published a map of Azure AD PowerShell and MS Online commandlets to find the equivalent Microsoft Graph commandlets. To learn more about the PowerShell commands, please review the public documentation. After the deprecation of Azure AD Graph on June 30th, Azure AD Graph will continue to be supported, but will not be receiving any new feature updates as we are investing our engineering resources in Microsoft Graph. We encourage you to update your apps to use Microsoft Graph as soon as possible. I hope you found this video helpful in understanding the Azure AD Graph app migration steps. Thanks for watching.